The Amazon Simple Story Service, or Amazon S3, is a highly reliable and extremely inexpensive way to store and retrieve large amounts of data. This makes the service very popular with those of you who use a lot of video on your websites. You can store those videos at Amazon S3 and avoid putting a strain on your current web host. In this video, we'll cover how to get started with Amazon S3. The first step is to create an AWS account or an Amazon Web Services account. And once you have that set up, you want to click on Sign Up for Amazon S3. Once you're signed into your Amazon S3 account for the first time, take a look at the Getting Started Guide at this address. Now, Amazon S3 is, as it says, a simple storage service. It uh, is not designed for the average uh, web user. It's designed for developers to write applications that access Amazon S3. If you just want to store your videos there, it's a good idea to use the Firefox browser because Amazon S3 recommends the S3 Fox Organizer to access Amazon S3. So let's uh, take a look at that. And here you have the S3 Firefox Organizer at this address. Let's uh, click on Add to Firefox and get ready to interface with Amazon S3. Once the S3 Fox Organizer has completely installed in your Firefox browser, you'll automatically be taken to the home page of the author of the software, where you'll find uh, complete information and instructions on how to use it. Actually, it's pretty simple to use. You just go to the Tools menu, choose S3 Organizer, and you get a file transfer utility very similar to FTP clients for Windows computers. Over here in the left window you have a listing of all the files on your hard drive. And over here on the right you have a listing of all the files in your Amazon S3 account. Since we're just starting out we don't have anything at S3 yet. First thing you want to do is set up an account. Just click on Manage Accounts and you get a dialog box here. You can use any account name you want to. Let's call this the main account. And it asks for your access key and your secret key. These two keys come from Amazon Web Services. When you're logged into your Amazon Web Services account, just put your cursor over your account and you'll see in the list of possibilities here, access identifiers. When you click on that, you come to this page. You don't want to reveal these numbers for security purposes, but take my word for it. As you scroll down this page, you'll find your access key ID and your secret key ID. Now that we have created an account within the S3 Fox 2, we can start uploading our files to Amazon S3. Let's first create a folder. We click on this small icon with the Shining Sun it gives you a handy list of rules here, and you'll notice the term bucket used very often. Uh, don't let that worry you. A bucket and a folder is exactly the same thing. You have a checkbox here to, that you can use. Uh, you can choose whether your data is stored in the U.S. or in Europe, and you would only check that if you wanted it to be stored in Europe if most of your clients are accessing it from Europe. You have to be a little careful with the name. You can't use a common name because uh, the folder space is shared with all the users of Amazon S3. So let's try in videos. Now let's upload a movie to our new folder. Simply select your file on the left side, click on the right arrow, and you see your file here and the status of the upload.
And there you have your first file uploaded to Amazon S3. For each file you upload to Amazon S3, you'll want to establish some permissions for who can use it. Just select your file, click on this icon labeled Edit ACL, and you get the panel where you can establish the permissions for this file. Now let's take the first category here, the permissions that everyone is eligible for. Uh, since we're talking about a video here, you'll probably want everyone to be able to read it. Right now, everyone cannot read it. So let's click on that and change it to a green arrow. Uh, you do not want everyone to be able to write to the file. Certainly don't want them to have full control. So let's click on OK. Now there's just one more thing you need to be able to use your Amazon S3 files. If you want someone to watch your video, you need to know the web address or the URL of the video on Amazon S3. To get that, you want to right click on the file and choose copy URL to a clipboard. Now let's open up a text editor and paste. And there's the complete URL of your movie ready to be used on your web page or in your emails.